So in order to make this button, right, jump up and down, we would need to use the animate CSS and wow.js. Now, wow.js would be a jQuery plugin and animate CSS would be a CSS library, right? And I actually have a separate video if this video would be too short, right? So you can go ahead and check it out if, if you're not satisfied, but we should be covering everything anyway here. So we just, again, go to our good friend Google and we write animate CSS and we go over here and we click it and you can see over here that it has a animate CSS and we these are the classes that we can use, right? And there's many of them, so obviously I'm not gonna be covering them, all of them. And over here we have a bounce up and down, right? And remember that we were using the animate for the rest of our section also, right? We're just starting right now with this one uh, with this little uh, link, link over here, right? But we're going to be using actually for the imagine and for work. Everything is going to be sliding in and zooming in and, and, and all kinds of interesting stuff. So we're just going to go to GitHub over here. I'm just click, I'm going to click it over here. And we just need to find it where we can actually download, it, right? And this is what they're saying is how we should actually include it, right? So we're just going to take this link for now, right? We want a animate min CSS. We're just going to copy this over here. And we're going to go back to our index.html. And again, somewhere, let's say over here again, above the Google fonts, we're just going to add a animate CSS, right? So we want animate, right, CSS, right? Animated CSS, right? It doesn't really matter. You're making a comment anyway. So over here, we're just going to copy this, right? So we're just going to say copy. And we're going to paste it over here like this. And now we have a animate min CSS. So obviously, now what we would need to do is actually download it, right? So we just go over here to the GitHub where we can actually download. So we go a download zip. And now we can go to our downloads, right, over here. And this is Animate CSS Master. And now we would need to write, uh, find a Animate Min CSS, right? So we have our folder over here, this one, right? And we have our CSS folder. And I actually would want a Animate Min CSS over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it there. And now we have a Animate Min CSS in our folder, right? And over here, we can just go back to the brackets and we can minimize this one over here. And we just need to make sure that our path is the same. So here, if we click CSS and now we have animate min CSS, now it should be working, right? So we can just go and check it out whether it's actually working. And let's say that we're going to go to our icon, right? And what we would need to do is we would need to add a class, right? So this is going to be their documentation. They're going to tell you that basically what you need to do is we need to add a class, right? Animated class. And then we're saying what we would want them to do, right? So we would want a animated and then we would want, let's say, bounce, right? Because that's going to be the class that we're adding. So this, since this, I already has this class. I'm just going to add it more and I'm going to say animated over here and I'm going to say bounce, right? And let's just say that we're going to have a infinite bounce, right? So we'll write infinite over here, infinite, right? Something like this. We can just save this and go back to Bootstrap. And you can see that it's bouncing. Now, the problem is that I actually need to have the whole link bouncing, right? You can see that only this um, awesome fonts are bouncing. So I actually made a mistake. So let me just have this, cut this one out over here like this and we're just going to go to the, our link and we're going to say that this is going to have a class and now we're just going to paste this over here like this and now you can see my that my whole link is actually bouncing right and it's all nice and dandy but once we're going to have more sections and we're going to be scrolling up and down we actually want those animations to be happening once we're scrolling up and down, right? So animated CSS is really nice and really cool. However, you want to use it together with a wow.js. So here we go back to Google and we write wow.js. Just remember when you're actually working with a wow.js, 
uh, that if there's going to be commercial projects, you actually need to pay for it. So right away, the first thing that it shows you is actually pricing, right? So don't go be using because you can actually, if without their permission, without buying and everything, and if you're uh, putting in your websites, you need to, like, this is just a project that we're doing just for fun, right? But if you're actually trying to sell something or, or something like that, you need to remember that you need to pay for it, right? And over here, it's the same thing, right? We go to, it says how to use, right? So first thing that they say is you should have a animate CSS, which we actually downloaded, right? So we have it over here. And next thing that they say that is actually we need to include two things, right? We need to include a script over here, this JS, wow, min.js, and over here, this script, right? So what we would need to do is I'm just going to copy these two scripts and we're obviously going to be placing the second script in a separate file right because we don't want to be we don't want it to mess everything up right because for the big documents you don't want to start creating your own separate scripts right and over here you can see this little comment right that include all compiled plugins below right so we're just going to write over here we're going to write this is going to be a comment this is going to be wow.js this is going to be our first plugin and i'm just going to copy this one but what I want to do over here, I want to cut this one over here and we're just going to delete these script tags, right? And what we want to do is we're going to want to create over here in our JavaScript, we would want to create a separate wow.js file. So I'm just going to say that I would want a open a new wow.js. So I'm going to say new file. I'm going to write this is going to be wow.js over here like this. And I'm just going to copy this, right? And we should probably be including that while the document is loading, but we're going to be covering that a little bit later. So let's just stick with this one. It's really simple. And and you'll see when we're going to be actually working with document load, you'll be able to add it later. But I just want to cover this when we're going to be actually working with a uh, our like our carousels and, and, and our um, uh, plugins and our actual uh, libraries and our um, light boxes and all that, right? So we can just save it this one for now. Now we have our wow.js and we can go back to our index.html and we can actually link it over here. So I'm gonna write a script. I'm gonna say source and over here, I'm gonna say this is gonna be GS and this is gonna be a wow.js, right? So it's gonna go with a wow.js over here, JS, wow, JS. And let's just check it out whether I actually have it there because for some reason it's not showing me that it is over there. So let's just check it out whether it's actually saved in there or I probably, it's you know what, it's actually probably not saved in an actual JS. So we need to go back to our folder over here and you can see that my wow, JS didn't save in a JavaScript. What we need to do is over here place it in JavaScript. Therefore, it's not it wasn't showing over here like this. So if right now I type JS and if I type wow JS, you can see that it's actually gonna be there. And obviously the last thing is we actually need to download this a wow min JS, right? So we go over here uh, to a GitHub, right? But here before we uh, before we go anywhere, I just want to show you that these are going to be a options that they were going to be uh, giving us, right? And we're going to be covering them again more once we're going to be working with our oral elements in HTML. But for now, just, just remember that if you want to know how to work with it, right, this is going to be documentation to look for. So over here, we just go again to GitHub. And again, we're just going to go, where is a clown and uh, download, not clone, not clown, the clone. So we go download zip. This is going to be our master zip. Again, we go to our downloads. This is going to be wow, right? And what we needed was a wow GS, right? So we go to a distribution, right? And over here within distribution, this is going to be wow min JS, right? So we go back to where's our JS, right? And we just place this file over here, right? And now we have a wow min JS over here. So again, we jump back to the brackets and we can actually close this one over here. We're just gonna leave over here this documentation. 
but the documentation is really simple in a sense that you can see over here before that we needed to add over here this class right where where is our little thing so we needed to add this class animated bounce right and infinite right so what we need to do right now is we need to add always a wow and then we need to have a actual class name right so here what i would want to do is i would want to write a wow over here like this and then i would want to say uh let's say i still want to have a bounce right but for the when we're working with wow gs or here you can see again like i was telling you these four rules right so instead of just writing infinite we would need to add this attribute data wow iteration and over here we'll write infinite right so over here we're just going to write a new attribute and we're going to say data this is going to be data wow and this is going to be iteration over here like this and we're going to say that this is going to be infinite right so it's going to be the same this is going to be infinite right so again we can just check it out what we have and you can see that it's bouncing the same way however right now what's going to be happening we're going to be adding more options over here right and we're going to be adding those options once we're scrolling up and down right so again we're not going to be able to see that right now right but it will going to be later on more useful and over here you can see that let's say that we have a not only iteration right let's say that we would want that bounce to be happening a little bit a uh, little bit longer right so again we just add another attribute this is going to be the data while duration right and i'm going to say that this is data while duration and i'm going to say that this is going to be like i don't know like six seconds right so let's just save it again and you can see that this is going to be actually uh over here if we refresh right and you can see what happens right and as it's bouncing up and down it's much more slower right so maybe not four let me not six let's make it four and so refresh and you can see how it's bouncing right so it's actually bouncing much more slower right and again the whole point for wowgs is as we're scrolling up and down this is actually what is the magic is happening right because we couldn't do that just with animate css and the last thing just about animate CSS that I want to show you is, is when we're working over here with the brackets extensions, right? It's actually a very useful extension that if we open up over here this brackets extensions manager, and I'll show you what extension we can actually get that we don't need to download a uh, animate CSS. So if we go to installed uh, brackets extensions, right? And over here, there's going to be the ACB bootstrap snippets, right? So if we just, I mean, close it over here, not the whole thing. And I already obviously can see that I downloaded it, right? So once we have this extension, we have an option. And we can just go anywhere in a document, right, in HTML. And we're just going to write BS3. And you can see that it gives us a lot of uh, options that we can do, right? And the first one, let's say that we would, if we would want a nav bar, right? So we have a nav bar, and let's say that I would want a responsive one, right? So you can see that right away it actually created nav bar, right? So we can check it out over here, right? And uh, it's actually not showing for some reason. Let's save it over here. Not over here, but over here. And we're going to refresh, and now I can see that this is going to be our nav bar, right? We don't want it there. I mean, this is not going to be our nav bar, but I'm just showing you that, uh, you know, it is possible, right? So, but the whole point is why I'm showing you this extension is that we can actually uh, include over here, uh, we can include a CDN, right? So you can see that how I have animated CSS, right? However, if I would write over here, uh, if I go over here and I write BS3 and I write CDN, right? So you can see over here for animate CSS and it's much more easier. We don't need to go anywhere. We don't need to download anything. We write a get, right away get a CDN, right? So if this is the option, if you want to do, if you're using a brackets extensions, um, this is something that you could definitely do, right? So you can just get this extension. Uh, this is going to be much more uh, faster. You, you just get it with CDN. And you can get a lot of good things in that bracket snippets, right? Those ACB snippets. It's not just those CDNs or nav bars. You can have like a carousel and, and all kinds of good stuff. So 
if this is what you want if you don't want to go and download you can also do it like this so now that we have a added html right we have styled it actually our banner we have added a bounce with a animate css and wow js we're actually ready and to go and actually start styling our services section <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,